Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. York Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Wednesday, September 13th, 2023, and here are the readings for today. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews, chapter 3, verses 1 through 4. Holy brethren, who share in a heavenly call, consider Jesus, the apostle and high priest of our confession. He was faithful to him who appointed him, just as Moses also was faithful in all God's house. Yet Jesus has been counted worthy of as much more glory than Moses as the builder of a house has more honor than the house. For every house is built by someone, but the builder of all things is God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 16, verses 13 through 19. Let us be attentive. At that time when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do men say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elias, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loosed on earth will be loosed in heaven. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. So in today's gospel reading, we have the discussion with our Lord and his disciples asking, who do you say, or who do they say that the Son of Man is? And they have all sorts of answers to that. The prophet, Elias, John the Baptist, all sorts of different people. And then, of course, the question that Peter is asked, and who do you say that I am? And Peter says, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And there you have the great reward that is given to Peter. You are Peter, and upon this rock, which is what Peter means in Greek, Petros means rock, on this rock I shall build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And then I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven, which is something I say every time I give someone confession. So, I thought it might be interesting to talk just really briefly about who Jesus really is. Because it is such an interesting topic, and it's one that is debated amongst Christians, maybe not so much about Orthodox themselves, but by, by Christians in general, because there are all sorts of different perspectives. There are some who believe that Jesus is not fully God and fully human, that he's either fully one and a little bit of the other, or vice versa. So, in some people's minds, they say that he was only pretending to be human. Because he rose from the dead, he shows that he's always been divinity, and there's no way that that kind of divinity could be kept in tension against something that's human. So the humanity would be overwhelmed and the divinity would prevail. That's one perspective. Another perspective is the reverse, that as a human, he was a great teacher and a great prophet, and that those miracles that are talked about in all the Gospels, well, since we can't really prove that they happened, they probably didn't. And so instead, what we have is a, a great man who then dies on the cross and either ends up that way, dead on the cross, or... He somehow is rewarded by God for his willingness to go to such lengths and depths to be obedient to the expectations of the Father, that the Father rewards the Son by removing him from the cross and bringing him into resurrection. Both of those perspectives are incorrect. There are the perspectives of people who are not Christian, either amongst the he, Jewish persuasion or the Muslim persuasion, in both cases, they would make an argument that that Jesus is not God, but rather some either very special person or a prophet 
but certainly not one who has risen from the dead. We, as Christians, and especially as Orthodox Christians, are some of the few, I mean, there are others who agree with us, but for the most part, um, we can definitely say without reservation that we believe that Jesus Christ is fully God and fully human, that he was always fully God from his conception, from the gift of the Holy Spirit to Mary. And so we believe very strongly with everything, it is the core, the bedrock of our faith, that Jesus Christ took on all of humanity, but remained complete divinity. As said many times before, the only thing that he did not take on that is human is sin, because sin is doing that which is directly in disobedience to the teachings of the Father. If you, How can you do that? How can you disobey God if you yourself are God? It, there's no way you can do it. So. He did not sin. He had no capacity to sin. But everything else he took on and he hallowed. He made it holy, made it special. And through his gift, we have been delivered from the torments of many who fell before Christ's incarnation and subsequent resurrection from the dead. So in becoming fully human, we have in Jesus Christ the epitome of humanity. He is indeed the, the great example of perfect humanity. And so that, when we ask who is Jesus Christ, we say he is God crucified on the cross. He is man going down into Hades and destroying the realm of death. He is God binding Satan and tossing him into the abyss. He is man in heaven, sitting at the right hand of the Father, bearing the marks of his crucifixion, and yet sitting in that throne on high as perfect God. It's paradox, but it's one that is very powerful and conveys to us just who Jesus Christ is. Who is he? Perfect man, perfect God. That's who our Lord Jesus Christ is. Well, I thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. Please share this with your friends, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. In the meantime, I pray that God will bless you and everyone that you love. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. I thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.